Hey y'all, Mikey from Rockin' K, and it was a busy week. We say that all the time, but it was a busy week. And you might notice something's missing behind me. That's because we destroyed it. That's coming up. Hey y'all, so today is the day. Yes, I am going to start on the chicken coop. So we managed to get some nice weather. So, I mean, some sunshine. We got maybe two more hours at least of daylight, something like that. It's a little windy, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. See what I found. She's over here in her garden pulling out nice worms. Fat worm. mm, uh, but anyway. So I'm gonna go get the tractor. We're gonna put the bucket on it. I'm gonna bring it down so that I can get up there and we'll start stripping the roof, strip the beams and just work our way down. We'll see what we can get up to. So well, let's do it. All right, so right about now you're thinking, wait, he said he was gonna take it apart from the top down. Well, plans change, they usually do. So you're getting this voiceover because apparently I failed to connect the microphones connect correctly. But as you can see, we got that chicken coop flipped over and now I'm going to go ahead and take apart all of the roof that fell off in the process of flipping it over. So unfortunately these things happen and you know, we got to uh, adjust and pivot, so you're getting a voiceover for this part. So now that we pushed it over, I mean, I guess it's a little easier to get to, but I think I can take most of this apart here, down here, and then kind of come along with the tractor and kind of roll it again to get to more of it. Eh, we'll see. I mean, I want to try to get it all knocked out today. I don't know if we can. We'll try. All right, folks. So through the magic of video editing, you get to see this at 8x. So here you see me uh, running the chainsaw, um, cutting up the um, USB or the oriented strand board uh, from the roof. Uh, I did insulate this roof, so that's why I have to open it up and remove all the insulation. Um, the plan is to burn all this wood um, with a nice little campfire in our little fire ring, but all the insulation has to be disposed, disposed of properly. So I'll bag all that up as you can see, and I will take that off and dispose of it at the recycling center. The USB held up amazing, um, even though I believe this coop is about five years old but the USB was exposed to water and damp. And, you know, you can see some of that, like the, the blackened stuff is where the roof broke and we didn't fix it because we had no more chickens. So there was no reason to make it waterproof again. And yeah, but the USB held up amazing. And that roof, by the way, stuck together really well. You'll see me fighting with it here. And it just, it held together. And now, I'm figuring out how to flip it. All right, so here we are with the voiceovers once again. So I rigged it up. 
and the intent was to flip this thing onto its roof or onto its top. The roof is mostly disassembled. But what I ended up doing is dragging it down the bank there and out into the field to touch. And while it did flip, I, it didn't flip in the way I wanted, but it flipped good enough. So um, I was able to use the tractor to break it down some and get it into smaller pieces that were a little bit easier to disassemble. Uh, speaking of this tractor, yeah, this tractor, while it's small, it, it you know, it has fit the bill. Uh, some of my friends were telling me to go ahead and get a larger tractor and like the 40 horsepower or so. But if I did, I wouldn't be able to use this tractor in this field right now because this field is so soft. But as you can see, I was able to get this coop all folded up and, you know, into a, a smaller, smaller pieces so that I could go ahead and finish disassembling it and separating it into wood and insulation and such. And now for the last piece, flip it up on there. And then the little nesting boxes. Hey, so productive day. Let me flip you around. Eh, whole new feel, huh? You don't see much. Uh... Chicken coop. Yeah, chicken coop is gone. Wow, I really wanted it gone, gone, and had it all done, but we ran out of light. We ran out of light. I mean, the, the sun. If you remember, the sun was coming from over there, and it, I don't know how good the camera's going to pick it up, but there is. Right, pink. right there, it's like pink and purple and all that, right where the sun just dipped below the horizon. But, I mean, I was able to collapse it down to the four, like the, well, five sides that was left. And yeah, we'll pick back up on it tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hey y'all, round two of this chicken coop destruction. So, refueled the tractor, she's ready to go for the day. We finally got a break in the weather. I can take care of some more of it. So you should, you saw where we left off, right? So I got, I think it's three of the walls left. So the roof and one wall are gone. And now I'm gonna come down and use the chainsaw to dice the, uh, the walls open, pull the insulation out, bag that up, and then the rest of the wood goes up on the wood pile for the bonfire. But we got a break in the weather. Um, I don't know if you can really see, but it's tracking up the, the field a little bit. But I don't have a choice. It just keeps, just keeps raining off and on. So let's do this. So this is how Mikey's got so far. He's struggling a little bit. There's a lot of fiberglass, a lot of insulation. But unfortunately, when you have chicken coop, you gotta make sure they stay warm, so. But we gotta separate that because it, it's gotta be disposed of properly. The weather's being friendly. Somewhat. It's not raining. Sun keeps peeking in and out like it doesn't really wanna be here. Worked out good that it 
fold it up, I can work it a layer at a time. Yeah, it did fold up nicely. We'll still have a lot of cleanup to do after he gets these main walls out of here. Yeah, we'll have to clean up all the little... Yep. A little bit. I'm trying to get every bit of foam up as I go along. That was one of the reasons that we also put it off. We knew it was going to be a long, drawn-out process. We knew it wasn't going to be fun. All right, y'all, so night has fallen. Well, it's almost dark, but we got a lot done. And it's been a it's been an okay week. So let me get down here and show you. That is where the chicken house used to be, the chicken stall. So you can see there's cement underneath it and stuff like that. There's the new garden. Well, it's the old garden with a whole lot of new earth. And then around here, we're gonna put pumpkins and watermelons. So I'm bringing in more of the, the topsoil and we're gonna topsoil the whole run. But that is what's left of the chicken house. So we're making a new house. Um, we're not done with chickens yet. Uh, it's been two years, two years since we had chickens on the farm, you know, on the homestead. Um, we were recovering from, yeah, it was brutal when we lost them to the weasel. But it's time. We need we need to stop buying eggs and, and buying chicken. So we're going to do um, meat birds and we're going to do egg layers. So... A new, a new chicken house is coming. Um, maybe once spring sets in, I'll start doing it. But it was a struggle today, um, moving the the uh, the remnants of this out. I'm going to flip you around again. If you look down there in the field, I'm going to zoom you in a little. I created huge ruts in that field. Coming up the hill on the other side, like, because it's, you know, I come around underneath and then up the side. And then I put it all right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's all in a pile right over there is where it is because it's going to go on that fire pit. That's why I picked out all the foam, all the fiberglass, all the plastic, all that, because we're going to burn it. And, it, you know, it's not good to burn that stuff. But anyway, we got it all, you know. Somewhat cleaned up. Those couple of piles that are laying there, I'm hoping we get some good dry weather um, coming up this week. And it's not that much, and I can just grab it and make like two or three runs with the tractor. 
and bring it over here to the pile. So I piled it back there where I can just little by little pile it on the fire pit. Um, hopefully we have some decent weather and I can I can make a nice little fire. We can sit out here, have a little bit of adult beverages, stuff like that, and enjoy a campfire. Um, I don't want to burn for the sake of burning. I mean, because it's got to get burned, but I'd rather enjoy it and sit around and, you know. It's kind of crazy because we are in this valley. And as you can see, there's houses around the valley, and I own most of the valley. But when I light this fire, it's like lighting the beacons all my friends end up showing up and we sit around and play some music have some adult beverages enjoy a fire um we're at that time of the year where it's chilly enough at night that a fire works really good so we took some time off coming up um so hopefully you have a good couple of nights where we can sit around the fire and and enjoy uh, some adult beverages and some some nice campfire but hey that's what's left of that big chicken house like I said in the earlier video it was the bane of my existence I kept saying yeah I'm gonna do it yeah I'm gonna do it yeah I'm gonna do it and well it's gone and it looks so much better out here so I got a lot of editing to do. It is about 7 o'clock on a Saturday night. Which means I'm going to be editing a lot into the night. So let me get this in the can to you. Let me get it delivered out there. Let me post it up and so y'all can see what we're up to this week. But you know my motto, if you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them the what's up or the what's up. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next adventure, I'll be the same.